Hey gang, so we're going to try and do, uh, well first of all, happy Saturday. Uh, I'm going to try and do a quick little uh, in the house here. I've got a bunch of stuff that actually, some of which I have no idea what they are. Um, I'm involved in this pay it forward group and sometimes it takes a week or more for guys to ship stuff out and I take more than a week or sometimes two weeks to get stuff out. And then you get this package in the mail and you're like, hey, I wonder what this was for. And so it's kind of cool. Uh, I do have Yah ya Magazine number two in here, and I think I've got an eBay purchase in here as well. Uh, in fact, the eBay purchase is the first thing I've actually pulled out. I picked this bad boy up for four ninety five, the China War, right? Uh, there's a, I guess, a modification and an update online that you can get. I don't think you need to do too much with counters. It's mainly uh, rules updates and stuff. The reason why this was only four bucks is you can see the rules are all scrunched up and everything, but the map is in really great condition and unpunched bad boy. Look at that homeboy. So that's cool. So we'll get into that at some point. It's a real slender set of rules. It'll be one of those SPI, you know, move adjacent, do your rods, roll a die on the CRT and away you go, right? Um, came reasonably well packaged. Uh, let's see. Let's open up this guy. Who is this? Okay, now I think this is what I bought uh, on on eBay. I think. I'm not sure. It looks like an eBay packaging gig, not a professional packaging gig. Said ripping the box in frantic anticipation. So I've been gone for a week and so there was a bunch of mail. Oh, you know what this is? Yeah, no, this is an eBay purchase. This is kind of a, uh, a little bit of a speculative uh, grab for me. Uh, I, I picked this up fairly. This is a uh, Gulf Strike, uh, which I already have a copy of. In fact, this is, has a different, different box art, which I kind of like. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm picking this up mainly because it's already punched. Yeah, it's already punched, and I'm gonna play it anyway. I'm gonna keep my my other copy in uh, unpunched condition. Yeah, it's all punched. Okay, well, and the box is in really good shape. The rules are in relatively good shape, so it was super inexpensive. So I can maybe flip my uh, my other copy of Golf Strike to help me pay for some new games. So that's two uh, modern games. I don't know what that is. That's nothing to do with war games. That's mail. This. Okay, now this is something that uh, I purchased on a bit of a whim, and I can't pronounce Mr. Zawalski's name correctly, but this is the Polish publisher of um, War games. And he has this uh, series of games which I think all use the, basically the same system. Right? And there's this magazine, the Tactics and Strategy magazine. So instead of calling it SMT, they call it the TNS. That's going to fool everybody in it. And I guess there's some things in here I need to cut out. That's not going to be impressive. Uh, I'll do separate shrink wraps and rips for these things, but I'm curious about this particular title. It should be interesting. And uh, you know, they have a bunch of games. I've read the rules for one of these systems, and it's pretty straightforward stuff. And we'll we'll see how it works out. And this, actually, I don't know what this is. So just in case it's something, it's either a not mine, or maybe it's my wife's. This is my account again. She's found out that I have a PayPal account that has a half decent balance on it. So occasionally, when she wants something that's expensive, she uses my account. Right. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, talk about impulses. Here we go. I was always curious about the the Near East portion of uh, World War II. And so uh, 
I, I bought a copy of this, and my intention here is to really have a good hard look at the maps, and there's not a whole lot of counters in this. This is all in really nice condition, but I want to lay this out with the Eastern Front maps and just check it out. Uh, you know, this is the classic GDW Europa system. This might be a little bit more palatable than some of the others because it's only one sheet of counters, right? And the backs of them are at least coloured so we can know which side is which, which helps. Alright, so that was what was in the box, in the mail. Oh, let's have a look at this jar magazine. Oh, let's do that separately. Let's see what the cover art looks like. Because one of the games from Brian Train, and there's the, there's the cover art. Okay, so Dead of Winter gets a review in here, I guess. Alright, we'll talk to you soon. Later.